Yes, we're back at it for more, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, we're in part two of the Crown Tundra. And now let's see if I can connect to the internet this time. Because I also happen to do an extra video that shows off a special kind of mystery gifts. Though, if you've already seen the video, then you already know what it is. Yup, not that much. Yeah, Dynamax Adventure and someone caught a Moltres. Oh, nice. How absolutely nice indeed. But anyway, our next stop is to take us right in here. Inside the Max Lair. So this must be it. Please, sir, I can't let you. Oh, I think you can't. My precious daughter's in there, and I'm going in after her. I understand, sir, but... But what? I'm here to have an adventure, and I want to kick it off right now. I simply can't allow it, sir. <sighs> oh, there you are, lad. So, you've come after all, have you? Something the matter? Nothing's all right, and everything's the matter. This ultra-mega numpty of a scientist insists on getting in me way. Numpty of a... I beg your pardon, sir. If you'd be so good as to simply listen, I could let you through. Dynamax adventures are quite fraught with peril, I'm afraid, and... Gah! I've got no patience for standing here listening to you rattle off the fine print. <sighs> We're just going round in circles. You seem to know this gentleman. Would you simply listen to my explanation? If so, then I can allow the two of you to enter as a pair. Aha! Now you're talking. Go on then. Let's hear what the good lady's got to say. And then we'll go find my little Nia together, right? Right. Sure. What is it all about? Are you ready to hear my explanation of Dynamox Adventures? That's what I like to hear, mate. I owe you one. Very well. Then I will proceed. The Max Lair is a labyrinthine underground cavern where rare Pokemon dwell, the likes of which normally are not found in the Glar region. Form a team of four trainers and set off to explore the mysterious Max Lair. See if you can find the legendary Pokemon set to await you in the deepest part of this unusual den. To take part in a Dynamax adventure, you must borrow a single Pokemon to accompany you. Getting things started by having each trainer select the Pokemon they will take with them on their adventure. As you explore the den, you'll come, and br come to branches in your path. Decide as a team which way to go. When you come across a Dynamax Pokemon, it'll be time for a max raid battle. Catch the Pokemon and you can swap it with the one you have if you think it'll help you press on into the depths of the den. To avoid the risk of Galar Particle Overexposure, which can cause your own dear Pokemon to lose control, we have prepared Pokemon for you that are resistant to the particle's effects. Right, right, I follow you. You're saying you don't want Galar losing control, so the Pokemon rents some particles. And we might see a rare overexposure. That was stunningly incorrect, sir. This is a dangerous place. Please make sure you have a firm grasp of the rules. I'm still a touch lost, but that's the type of place this is, eh? Right, sounds like this is a bit beyond me, so I'll just go on in and get cracking. Here comes Papa, my darling Nia! Sir! No, I just told you it's too dangerous! What is going on with that man? He looks so much like Chairman Rose, but his attitude doesn't match the Chairman's at all! Well, when you're ready to go chase him down, pardon me, I mean, when you're ready to begin your Dynamax adventure, please let me know. Wow. If you go on a Dynamox adventure, I will provide you with Dynite Ore as a reward. I'll also allow you to keep one, just one, of the Pokemon you catch along the way. Would you like to embark on a Dynamox adventure? Yes, let's save our game. You're still new to Dynamox adventures, so we suggest trying them alone for now, just to get a little familiar with the rules before you invite some friends to join you. Hmm, this is going to be a bit tough. And that's all the whole gimmick with the Dynamax adventure. There's a lot to do here. 
and trying to hunt down legendary Pokemon is going to be in and of itself a challenge. Yeah, I want to save my game. Since this is our first time, let's not invite others for now. We can borrow one Pokemon. A Golurk, a Drudagon, or a Heliolisk. I will take the Golurk. Make sure your choices are good. All the way leads to the end against the water. There's a strong water type reaction coming from within the den. Let us see how we'll manage this. A grappa. Since I'm ghost ground, I have good immunity to it. Let's give it a max knuckle. So basically all this, you're using rental Pokemon to complete this, this challenge. And they're at max level too. Max level. Well, that puts it to bed. Nice. That should knock it out, at least for a while. Max Knuckle! Alright, boosted our attack power. Very nice! This is actually going to make things a lot easier. Oh, wait, it woke up and it now uses a Focus Blast. And yeah, the rules still apply. Lose four times? That's it. Good. At least we're actually managing this for the time being. Let's hope it's good enough. Yeah, but then we find, we catch. Now we have 20 seconds to decide. Alright, let's take the newly caught Graplock with us. Nice, we encountered a backpacker. Now we can share supplies. We'll give it the bright powder. Next up. Togedemaru, an electric steel type.
That's not going to help us much. Would have thought Drudagon would actually be smart. Hopefully this should give us at least a fair chance to take it down. Ah, hacks. Very effective. Oh, thank you. We got our hands on Togeta Maru. Hmm. Fighting versus... Nah, I'm good. And I can tell by the silhouettes. Rock rock. Or is it a lichen rock? Fine. Drain punch it then. Wait, a cellar rock? Guess the paralysis really does come in handy. That's damaging. That did it. Hmm. Now nah, I'm good. And now it comes to the one at the middle itself, a water type. One of the legendary beasts of Johto. Oh, Q, you're exerting your pressure. Let's get a bit topsy-turvy. Yep, the music just makes it real intense. Fine, I'll just stick with drain punches. Thanks for the attack boost. Boosting special attack and special defense, huh? Not a fun thing. But that can do. Yep, it's got a life orb. You know what? I think I might devote a part or like a few parts to this playthrough to this. Really? You had like a use stone edge and you deal damage. Why? It didn't work?
I better take this up a notch. Let's go Dynamax. This will most likely mean I'll be hunting down every single legendary Pokemon here. Oh, wow. Nullified stat changes and abilities. And it's using a max Mind Storm. Wow, very little damage. This thing's no joke. Guess we're getting a massive power-up. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, goody, you bring along a psychic field. Psychic terrain. We're going to need more power than this. Plus two special attack and special defense. You know what? Hypnosis would be nice. Oh, nice. Now we're actually hitting the damn thing. Yeah, I said it. Three turns pass. All this, and it's undone! Oh nice, Haunter dies again! Why is it so hard just to cat? Yep, looks like I'm in deep trouble. Really deep trouble. Thank God he survived. No wonder I choose so poorly, you know? Yeah, and if Hunter dies again, we're pretty much boned. You know, that's not going to help us out much. Now you decide to give us well, uh, some advantage. But for how long?
We are in a very precarious spot. You have two moves. Yep, I'm gonna. Yeah, if we fail, that's done. That that did it. And we fail. We couldn't even get the legendary Pokemon. That's what makes it harder. Fine, I'll keep it till get it tomorrow. And we get some Dynite Ore. No. Send to a box. We failed. But wait, the story continues. Hang on. I recognize you. Are you here for a Dynamax adventure too? Wicked. Guess we're on the same wavelength. I'm Peonia. Nice to properly meet you. What about you? What's your name? Wow, what a perfect name for you. Really suits you. So is my dad on his way here too? I haven't seen him. Has he got turned around and wound up back at the entrance? Listen, sorry for using you to distract my old man back there. He's as stubborn as a mud bride. Things go all right after I left? What? You beat my old man? You sure pulled a blinder there. He used to be a gym leader, you know. Even on holiday, he's no pushover. You know, my dad was going mad with excitement for this trip. He kept going on about how he planned for us to check out local legends on this super intense adventure. Tour, or adventure as he calls it. But I mean, come on. What girl my age would be caught dead doing some nothing like that with a dad? Besides, I really fancy having more battles with Dynamax Pokemon. Wow, the thrill of battling one of those massive towering Pokemon. Just thinking about it gets me pumped up. <laughs> you know what? I just had a thought. You're a pretty fine trainer, right? Then I bet you can handle taking my place on my old man's adventure. Too right it does. It's a brilliant idea if I do say so myself. He's so hyped up about all this, it'd be a shine to just leave him on his own. And who knows, you can end up running into a legendary Pokemon. How about I meet back up with you two after I had my own fun in the Max Lair? Go on then, enjoy your twosome tour of legends. Tell my old man the deal and all that. That was a failure. Oi! What the? What happened here? Ugh, it hurts. It ultra mega hurts. Naya, where's my darling Naya? Are you alright? This fine gentleman appears to have tripped on a rock and struck his head. <laughs> Adventures ought to, be, ought to be taken lightly. I've learned that first hand now. First hand, I mean. I was just checking to see if my little girl was behind some rocks. And look how I've ended up. Behind some rocks? Is your daughter a roly coly, sir? There we go. I'm up. The little butt's gonna keep me down long. That kid's got me feeling right as right. How about I've been land? Did you find my darling Nia? Well, here's how it went. Hmm. You don't say. So, dear Nia set on staying away till she's had her fill of this Dynamax adventure stuff. And she wants the two of us to go ahead and get cracking on the Grand Peony Adventure? You know, I burned the candle at both ends, working out the best itinerary I could for my dear Nia's sake. But I guess she's at that age where she doesn't want her old man tagging along all the time. And trying to press into doing what I want to do, probably won't win me any Dad of the Year awards. Right then, what's your name, kid? Cheers, Ozai. My name's Peony. Wait. I've already told you so? <laughs> I mean, it's twice as nice to meet you. We get his Lee card. Let's have ourselves such a smashing adventure that my dear Nia will be itching to join in the fun. 
Yes, let's. Now that's an ultra mega great response. Just what I was hoping to hear. <laughs> We're gonna have ourselves a real treat of a legendary Pokemon hunt. So that's the sighting. Now then, Ozai, let's get ourselves to Freezington. It's a town just a short ways off. Time for a strategic planning meeting for Peony's Adventure. I'll fill you in on the details once you got there. I'd say, let us reconvene post haste. <laughs> just pulling your leg. Can you imagine if I actually talk like that? <laughs> I will be back here, I promise. But I mean, seriously, that just ended like complete and utter disaster. He moves fast. I'll give him that. So that's the town of Freezington. Yep, defeated Rayquaza. Suicune defeated Zygarde. Latias. I'm gonna need better choices if I'm gonna start getting the right Pokemon for the job. Sure, even though I enjoy catching them and all that, but honestly... So this is the town of Freezington. Hello, hello, what have we here? Another visitor? I am the mayor of this fair town of Freezington. I must say, it's a surprise to have visitors arriving in or out of the way town one after another. Might you he be here to learn about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvest as well? Ah, uh, never mind. It hardly bears asking. After all, there is very little otherwise to attract visitors to our sleepy corner of the region, which is a bit of a shine, really. People come all this way to investigate what turns out to be a mere fairy tale. But since you've made the journey, I must offer you this freezing tin specialty as a memento. We get a freezing tin's famed boat neck sweatshirt. It's a shot emblazoned with the likeness of the King of Bountiful Harvest. I'm afraid it hasn't sold quite as well as we'd hoped. We've got a fair number left over. The illustration is based on an extremely ancient account of the King's appearance. Hence, the unusually sized head, but we thought it might make the design a touch more hip, as they say. If you'd like to see what the king really looked like, I suggest you take a look at the statue by the fields in the center of town. By the by, while you're here in the Crown Tundra, feel free to let your lead Pokemon on a Pokeball and take it for a stroll. Farewell for now then. Oi! Over here, Ozai! Still didn't think it'd be that possible. So this must be the legend. It's a statue of Pokemon, but somehow it feels as if it's missing something. You're right. It is. Aha! Here you are! This pokey little place will be our lodgings. What's with the head? But as of this moment, it's also something far more important. Our base camp. I know, I know, no much of a base camp is it. Still, we gotta give a proper air of importance, haven't we? Now I'm not faffing about Ozai. Let me tell you what the Peony Exploration Team's after. Around here, they got a fair few strange and mysterious legends. For example, a huge-headed Pokemon known as the King of the Bountiful Harvest. Not to mention, a massive red tree where legendary flying Pokemon gather. And furthermore, these great hulking dot-faced giants that sleep in some ruins or something. Etc. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with juicy legends. And we're not stopping until we found just how much truth they got to them. And there you have it. We are the Peony Exploration Team. And that is our grand, noble, magnificent goal. 
course, if I had my way, I'd be doing this with my darling Naya. But who knows? They say even chancy meetings can lead to blissful friendships. So here's to a grand adventure, Expedition Chief Jose. Chief? Obviously. Look, what do you think what would happen if the two of us went gal gallivanting off together? My dear Naya could come along for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. Just the thought of it. My own darling daughter sitting alone in this room pining for her papa. Yeah, no, but not on my watch. I'd never let that happen. So I'll be the hold down the fort chief. Which means you get the pleasure of being the expedition chief. Yeah, which brings me to this. Go on, have it. We get an expedition uniform. <laughs> Look at that! Fits you like a glove! I brought some spare uniforms so my dear Nia would have a few to change into. So that's enough to give you one. And if you ever need a change or have a kiff, by all means, just head into the bedroom back here. I've got some different clothed scars in there, so switch it up if you fancy a bit of style. Yeah, have these too. Legendary Clues A clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest. It's written by Peony, and an old photo is attached to it. There's a fairy tale in Friesenton about the legendary Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. In the legends, the king is said to wear a massive crown on its head, but the wooden statue near the fields in the middle of the village shows no sign of a crown. Now we gain the second clue. Far, far in the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of stone sleeps. On the temple's doors are strange words. Let the Pokemon change one. The door remains firmly shut. Sunken in the side of Snow Slide Slope lies a temple where the giant of ice sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. Near where green meets snow in the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of steel sleeps. On the distant paths of Three Point Pass lies a temple where two giants sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. The Reggies. When the sun reaches its zenith, it shines directly down upon a great tree with leaves that seem to burn. It is there that the legendary wings come to roost. The legendary clues I've meticulously compiled from hours of dedicated telewatching. First off, why not have a look at that clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest? Seems like the King's bonds with his loyal steed, or whatever you call it, runs proper deep. So if I had a nine this expedition, I'd call it... The Sacred Bonds of Sovereign and Steed. There's a great big statue of it bang in the middle of the village, though its head isn't as massive as in my notes. No. No need to change. Let's investigate the legends. Aha! Just have an idea. Here's a little something to help you out. We obtain another Master Ball! That makes two! This is supposed to be one ultra mega cork of a ball. Use it wherever you think you ought to. I got it ages ago from somebody I used to know. Never could bring myself to use it though. If you ever get a bit turned around, come on back to Bice Town Camp anytime. You can't miss it. Just look for the adventuring crew flag I stuck out front. I'm made by yours truly. Anyway, suppose that's that. Let the grand adventure begin. Have a smashing time out there. Hey, Chief, my pillow's caught your eye, eh? Your pillow? Oi, listen here, Chief. I've got some wisdom to impart. If you can put your head on and have a cup, it's a pillow. Unfortunately, I went and left my favorite pillow back at home, so I went to have a look around town for something to rest my head. And I found this out back behind this inn. Can I have it? G come off it! You want me to hand over my ultra mega comfy pillow? That's asking a lot, even coming from you, Chief. Hmm, what's that? You think my pillow's got something to do with a legendary Pokemon? Ultra Mega Seriously? This is just some old thing I found. But if you really want it, Chief, who am I to refuse? All right, all right, go on then, have it. But you better make sure you track that legend down. This guy is nuts. 
We get the wooden crown. I already know where it's from. So much to explore. So little time. Why am I reminded about the old days when you have to catch Pokemon just to like, I don't know, get stronger? And it looks like we found our first clue. Right here. Let's fit it in. The wooden crown fit perfectly on the statue. Does it want me to follow it? Yeah. But honestly, what is that? It seems as if the mysterious Pokemon wants to test your strength. Yes. What is that? Channel War. Let's do this. A nerve. Too nervous to eat berries. We don't even know what level it is. Yep, it's a scripted fight. Who are you? Oi, oi, what's up? Heard a bit ruckus coming from over here. What's this now, Chief? We having a Pokemon battle? Huh? What a massive noggin! What's this? Yeah! yeah. Ah, yes. A sturdy body, just as I expected. I hope he doesn't mind that I make use of it for the time being. Chief Peony? An understandable reaction, but the answer is no. I am Calriax. I am the one known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. I have borrowed this man's body in order to thank you in person, so to speak. Indeed, there are no words to adequately express my gratitude toward you for restoring my statue. In days long past, I reigned over these lands as king. The humans offered me their loyalty and respect as I was able to bring lush vegetation to the land and give them plentiful harvests year after year. However, it seems that over many, many years, the people of this land have forgotten my existence. They used to make offerings to me every year, but even that tradition has long since been lost to the ravages of time. You see, it is the faith of the people that grants me strength. And now I have lost all but a fraction of my former power. Even my loyal steed has abandoned me. However, you are kind enough to restore my statue. That act has returned some strength to me, at least enough to speak to you by borrowing the body of another. Now, kind-hearted human child, I have a favor to ask of you. I must know once and for all whether the people have truly forgotten about me. 
I wish you to speak to the villagers and ask if they remember the king of Bountiful Harvest. I have tried asking them myself, you understand? But they treated me like some sort of fairy tale creature or flew into a mild panic at the sight of me. Please, kind hearted human, I beg of you to help me. Who are we to say no? Kalriax appeared once I placed the crown on a statue. Can he can apparently speak to humans by taking over a person's body. Peonies in this case. Now I need to gather more info on the King of Bountiful Harvest from the people of this village. So serene, yet so strange. Guess it wouldn't hurt to ask around. Yes, please. I see, so we have to trade Dynite Ore for stuff. The Pokemon King? Oh sure, my gran used to tell me stories about it at the time when I was a kid. An old fairy tale that. The King of Bountiful Harvest. I used to believe it was real, you know. I was told that if I made mischief in the fields, the King would steal my body away. The King of Bountiful Harvest? Well, if it exists, why doesn't he heal the land around here so we can grow crops for a change? Oh dear, I'm sorry. I'm rather busy doing nothing right now. That's not enough of a pleasant answer. So I gotta ask people around, huh? Okay, so he got like one. Do I remember the King of Bountiful Harvest? Why, of course I do. It's only the mind tourist attraction of our loving Freezington, after all. I imagine we would see only more, more visitors if only the king were real. Now let's report back to Calriac. Calyrex. Yep, that's the name of the new Pokemon in question. But all this... All this brings me a sense of dread. Ah, human child. I trust you were able to speak to the villagers. So how was it? Did they say anything about me? They did, but... Hmm. It is as I suspected. Nobody truly believes that I am real. It seems the people of this land have indeed forgotten the bond they once shared with me. Hmm. Oh no, of course I am not grieving. I am the King of Bountiful Harvest, after all. I know better than to count on humans to remember me. This proves beyond doubt that I cannot simply rely on human faith if I want my powers to return. If only my loyal steed were to return to me, I would regain something of what I've lost. Is that a Pokemon? Yes, the four-legged Pokemon that I used to ride across all across the land. The very same Pokemon that my statue in the village shows me riding. Alas, though in ancient times we spent many days together, dashing through the valleys and the mountains of this land. My power waned, and I was forced to part ways with it. Now I know not where it may be. Even if we should succeed in locating my loyal steed, I have my doubts as to whether it has remained, well, loyal. I have lost so much power. Perhaps the villagers know something about my currently not-so-loyal steed. I would be of your debt if you could speak to the head of the village on my behalf. If you're able to find the info and all, I ask that you let me know. Yeah. Huh? Chief, what a massive noggin. Oh, way. No, it's normal. I must have fallen asleep where I stood. Sorry about that, Chief. Still, I feel strange. Like my body's not quite my own. Guess I'll head back to base and get some rest. Slides, it's freezing out here. It's like he, it's like he didn't even, he doesn't even know. Well, let's talk to the guy in charge. The mayor's not home at the moment. He went to have a look at the fields in the giant's bed. You can go look for him if you're in a hurry. 
The fields in the giant bed are to the southeast of the village. Go through Frostpoint Field and just keep going to the left. I see. So it turned out he's not here. That's fine. But I wonder if we can fill out the other pieces. <sighs> yeah, all of this just brings a lot of weird, weird stuff. It really does. Supposed to head this way then. Now it's turned harsh. Nice, we found a metal code that guy can use to evolve Scythe or Scizor. Ironics to Steelix. Hmm. Supposed to find something on the grassland, Pokemon. Looks like someone got their hands on a Beldum. Nice, we get a Lonely Mint. When a Pokemon smells this mint, its attack will grow more easily, but its defense will grow more slowly. That one gets me a five-star Crobat. There he is. Alas, this field's no good either. The soil is barren. No crop could possibly grow here now. Perhaps the lands of the Crown Tundra truly are beyond hope. Huh? What's this? Oh, our dear visitor, what brings you here? Hmm, you want to learn more about the loyal steed of the King of Bountiful Harvest? Well, this is hardly the place for storytelling. Come to my home in Freezing Town. It's better to have a nice chat than the warmth, after all. Please visit whenever you're ready. I'll be waiting. Yep, it looks like Sorob got his hands on a circuitry. Yeah, it's too foggy. Wait, what's this? A mimic you? I count on you, Chandelure. Or not, because I already caught you. Got a max revive. A pair of wise glasses. The thick pair of glasses slightly boost the power of special moves.
All right, we're here. Have you seen what's happened to the statue of the King of Bountiful Harvest? Its head has become massive. You say that's the way the king's supposed to look? Now that you mention it, it does resemble the design on our town's souvenir shirts. But you speak as if you've seen the king with your own two eyes. That statue's been broken since I was a child. Oh, of course, you want to learn about the loyal steed of the King of the Bountiful Harvest. Well, I don't know why you'd be interested in such things, but come then, follow me. An old book I read long ago said that the king's loyal steed was particularly fond of a certain special vegetable. But my memory isn't what it used to be. I can't recall what exactly the steed so desired. I think it's best that you search on the bookshelf over there if you want to find out any more. Let's see. The King of Bountiful Hardis. The King's Proud Steed. The horse Pokemon gave over its power to serve the king and carry it hither and thither. The two even became one for a time, combining their strength to create a force in a single night. This proud steed had been a wild thing once, ravaging the village crops and causing much woe. But the king in all its greatness brought this fierce creature to heal and secure its loyalty. And for each among us who claimed the steed's hide was black as the midnight gloom in which ghosts appear, there is another who claims it was white as a block of solid ice. None alive can now say which is the truth. The king was a great Pokemon that brought abundance to our cold land. With a sweep of its right hand, the land would be blanketed in verdant grasses and blooms. With a sweep of its left, the fruit of the fields would ripen and grow heavy. Its great crown of, crown of green gleaming, the king galloped across the land astride its proud steed. And at their footsteps, Buds would burst from the soil, and rich life would be born across the region. And so he worshipped the Pokemon and paid it all due tribute as king. The reigns of unity. Through these, though the, through these reigns did the king send its power in order to tame and control its proud steed. The reigns, in fact, were made by the hands of the people, in thanks for the plenty brought by the king. These reigns bound not only the horse and the king to one another, they bound the people to the king as well. At the dawning of each new year, we must never forget the gift the king with this offering. Let the radiant flower and the mane and the steed be woven together to bind us all in faith. Let the secrets of the sacred art be passed from parent to child to grandchild and never forgotten. While carrots can be grown in the ground tundra, they have rather unusual growth habits. When grown between the heaped snow, these hardy roots tend to develop into ice root carrots. When grown in tracks close to where many souls are laid to rest, shade root carrots will be your crop. Shade root carrots are a favorite for, treat for many ghost type Pokemon, while ice type Pokemon seem to like in eating ice root carrots. According to old fairy tales, the steed that the King of Bountiful Harvest rode upon loved both of these varieties, or perhaps one or the other. Records seem to contradict one another, while some stories speaking a white steed delighting in ice root carrots, and others mentioning a black steed devouring shade root carrots. Looks like we found out what we need. Ice root and shade root carrots. Huh? It's Calyrex! Well, let's see what he wants. Hmm? Oh, hey there, Chief. I had a feeling someone called me. Was it you? Huh? Ugh. Human child, were you able to find something about my lovely steed? Yes. You say you found out about something that my loyal steed could not resist? It has been so long since we rode together that I had completely forgotten. With this information, we may be able to lure my loyal steed to me yet. So tell me, what is it that my loyal steed would find so irresistible? Q. 
Carrots. Oh, carrots, you say? Yes, yes, I remember now. Even back when we were together, it would leap at any chance to eat some kind of crop. It took everything I had to restrain it. Looking back, the crop must have been carrots. I am in your debt, human child. What we must do now is clear. If we are to find carrots somewhere, it should be but a trifle to lure my loyal steed back to me. I wonder, do the humans of the village grow any carrots? If we can attain even a single seed, I could grow a carrot from it myself. In order to find the king's beloved steed, I'll need to first get my hands on its favorite food, carrots. Maybe the people of Freezington can help me out. Oh, you're looking for carrots? Well, you won't be finding it this time either. We do have seeds right here. Nuts, we... We need dynite ore. Yep, looks like we're in a predicament. Albeit a very bad one. But we need to get ourselves a lot of dynite ore for this. So... Yeah, it looks like we'll have to take part in the max raids. In order for us to get what we need. So yes. In part three of this little trek. We'll be taking part. Yeah, we need carrots. That's what it said. Ask villagers about the carrots. Wait, am I out of time? Nah, I got enough for a few more minutes. Ask about the villagers about the carrots. The Crown Tundra used to be well known for the two types of carrots that were grown here. We don't grow them anymore though. Why? Yeah, they do have seeds. One little problem with that. They're not gonna eat them up without a fight. Ice cold cat root carrots, cold as ice, munched all up by the bully in white, shave root carrots, dark as doom. Crunched by the bully with a ghostly gloom. Ice root and shade root. We don't grow carrots in this village anymore. It's a shame. This is gonna be troubling. At least we can buy supplies here at least. Thanks, I guess. But this means we need to trade Dynite Ore in order to get that. But we're going to be saving that for part three. Since we know all about the carrots, we just need to make sure to get, like, Dynamax Pokemon. Or, like, have to take part in the Max Lairs. So in part three, we'll be taking care of that. You enjoy it? Be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. I'll see you in part three. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.